Personal finance is supposed to be personal. So let's get personal. So let's talk about this out that bill called personally. This all stemmed from it doing sunsetting mitt.com, which allowed me to track my spending, which over turn will allow me to track my save rate, also track my net worth at the time. So with no way of tracking my spending and my net worth, I decided I wanted to build something for myself. All right, so now we're here at personally. There's pretty much six objects that you want to pay attention to. Let's go into creating your budget. So here we go to this menu, drop down, go to budget, and then you will be given this left-hand side list view. Right here, you will on the arrow, click down, click new, and you will see window that pops up in front of you. You can call this whatever. Uh, I made it where it's just, you know, customizable wherever you make it. I didn't want to make it where it just automates it. Maybe you want to call it something different. There you go. You have September 24th. Here we are on the actual budget record. So now here we're going to create like our income. So like let's just say we bring in roughly around 15K and the category for that is a check every single month or salary that we want to go. Here's the different categories or different stuff. Right now I'm just going to hit salary then hit for that comes on the first of every single month hit save now you have that record right here then you can go over into this tab go back to the left you can see that 15k is right here for your total income and your save rate is you know 100 because you haven't had any expenses yet all right now we're actually going to create our expense I just say, you know, you have you, you, you do a donation or charity, you do a hundred dollars there, and that was for the second. And then, as you see, I just made multiple expense records just like that. And then, if we go back here to our budget tab, you see those three expenses right here 1600, 100. 600 and as you can see total expenses add up right here and so far our save rate right here and our savings we're saving roughly around 12,700 and then our save rate is roughly around 84 so let's go into the next part where we're going over calculating our net worth because this was our save rate let's calculate our net worth we go over here to assets so you add an asset and this is just like you know cash value you got uh, account that you have some cash in is 15,000. Now we're going to go into the next tab, go to liabilities, go to that menu option, go down to liabilities. Yeah, as you can see, we already have some liabilities right here. Click new and let's just say we got $2,000 liability that's coming out for um, a medical it's safe. Now you have all these assets and all these liabilities in your system. Now we go back to the menu snapshot menu and you want to create a snap of your current net worth of today. So here we're going to click that drop down here, hit new and you will see right here. So if there's nothing that you need to input here. Once you hit save, this is going to be some magic that happens in the background and there you go you have your snap for today you can see it your total assets on the right hand side 60k total liabilities on the on the bottom row that's 37,000 and your total net worth of being 23,000 and as you see here's a list view down here of your total assets in the system so pretty much what I'm saying is that hey I'm just really taking a snapshot of a present time in the system to say hey this is the value of your assets these are the values of your liabilities at the time you took the snapshot and that's pretty much it and did i mention that this is free So in the description below, you will find a link to a Google document that will go over the step-by-step -step process of downloading this app. Pretty much the main steps are creating a Salesforce account. Then from there, you will create your own Salesforce personal instance, aka or then from there, you'll download the app. Boom. There you go. You have access to taking control of your finances and using the app personal app for your own personal use. I do want to mention some optional steps out there. There are an optional steps to setting up the multi-factor authentication so that no one can gain access to your own personal data um i do want to shout out to a particular subscriber or commenter who posted on my comments for a post yeah pretty much you know brought me into this in the set of security and protocols about things and like thinking about why i did this this way with this particular app 
I'm not, you know, providing you an advertisement. There's no advertisements pushing to you. Free is free. There's no data sharing with no one else beyond this app. Also, a slight plug, if you really enjoy using this app, consider donating for other apps and videos like this in the future. I really do appreciate it and thank you in advance. Yeah, and that's it. I love building these apps. I love making these videos. So I'm going to build some more apps. I'm going to make some more videos and I'm going to see you guys in the next one. Peace.